the wisdom that peruses every activity of God the wisdom that gives God his feedback the wisdom that delights the heart of the father it is this wisdom I'm presenting we understand how the words are chosen why because we are doers of the word we are masters of the word we are poets of the word I pray to God that your ministry will not be in the outer court but you will come into the place of the very presence of God but by reason of Christ who has opened the way we have free access to God and we are not afraid therefore he said come boldly before the throne of grace that you might find grace and help even in a time of need and most of us who think that prayer is a means of just taking something taking something we have never brought to the place where we understand our prayer is work when we pray we work when we pray we when we pray we form when we create we make things happen and you know what in the secrecy of this work god rewards you openly. now Get set for the good word of God with Pastor Obed. Pastor Obed, always a blessing. Ah, if hell was just a domain of Satan, then that's a few days for Satan because he's a master spirit of that realm. That's right. But no, there is a being of God in charge of hell. He is the one that makes Satan to koto to the demands of God. Even in hell. Even in hell. But of course, this is new light. Because generally, uh, what we have known is that... Hell is a place of yes, falling spirits. Yes. I mean, that's where Satan rules. That's where he's in charge. Satan doesn't rule in hell. Please, it's a lie. I, I mean, it, it's... It's, it's nauseates to hear things like that. Satan ruling in hell? Satan doesn't rule in hell. Because it's assumed that hell is one big place where all sinners are, and Satan is in charge. He has his demons that are supervising them. You are right. No, it's not Satan's demons that are supervising them. No. Satan himself is afraid of hell. Take us deeper, man of God. In the book of Isaiah, the chapter 14, the word of God spells out hell is moved. Downward. That hell is moved from, from beneath, beneath to meet the other coming. Satan. Means hell is a person. Let me talk to you about this. The word of God says that there are spirit beings that are afraid of hell. Why are they afraid? Ah, if, they are, if it's all a matter of evil spirits, mm. then they are just joining their compatriots. That's right. But why must they be afraid? They are going into their natural estate. So why must you be afraid? be afraid? So why were they crying to Jesus that he shouldn't send them into the bottomless pit, the abyss? Why? Because there are godly beings that are in charge of that place who would exercise the judgment of God in that place. If you have seen hell before or your eyes have been opened into that realm, can we talk? Talk to me. Man. If you haven't seen it before, mm. can mm. we look into the word of God? Mm. That the Bible says that there is an angel in charge of the bottomless pit. And this angel is not a demon. Mm. He is not Satan's being. Mm. He is God's mm. agent. We are not going to go into nested beings or corporate beings of the various habitations. That may be for another time. Yeah. That would be too much to munch and to chew. But tonight, the Bible said, and I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. Mm. Now, let's explain what heaven is. I saw an angel come down from heaven. He had what? The keys and a great chain. He's the governor of that place. He's the one in charge. He has the, the keys, keys to that place. Okay. The authority. He's the authority, He's the authority of that figure place. of that place. Okay. He is the pontificate mm. in charge of that mm. place. But he's a servant of God. Hallelujah. So he came from heaven. Mm. And he was supposed to carry out a charge. Mm. Mm. You mm. see, so mm. in this realm mm. of reality, mm. we'll have to understand what's mm. operating everywhere. There are 
First of all, let's start if we can ask a question. Are there evil spirits here on earth? Or the earth is um, a place of only, um, mm. how do you call it, the presence of godly beings? No. There are evil spirits here. Now, when God created Adam, Adam came to meet the serpent. That's true. So, there were, there were already serpentine beings here before Adam came. I mean, the, the earth and God's universe was actually inhabited before Adam showed up. Way before. Ages before. Ages before. That is what we are seeing in the scripture. So, here appears a serpent. If all God created was heavens of light and earth of Adam and Eve, then <laughs> where appeared? So, okay, God created heavens of light, Adam and Eve, and God created the devil and his angels, and that settles it. Oh, please, mm. please, can you, can you just pray that God would just cause the scales to fall off your eyes so yes. that you can yes. see yes. into the spirit realm and begin to understand the universe according to its divine principle and how God has programmed his universe. This is why we are supposed to have dominion mm. over the entirety of the creator. Man has a special place in the universe of God. We are going to judge the angels. Somebody may say, oh, it's only the fallen angels. Let's not argue about that. Whether they are fallen or they are godly, we will judge the angels. But then the question is this. When you think of the ETS, the extraterrestrial realm, or the extraterrestrial stratosphere of various dwellings, which now is the heavens and the earth, in those places, do you think that there are only godly beings? Okay. For your information, what did Paul tell us? Paul says that there is a prince of the power of the yeah. air. Can I talk to you? Talk to Do you know that the air is spirit? Yeah. So equally as the spirit realm has the Holy Spirit okay. Okay. who controls the air, yeah. there is also a being that is referred to as the prince of the, the power. power of the air. Mm. So just from this earth realm, when we move from the atmosphere into the stratosphere, of the yeah. airy elements, okay. there are beings in charge. Godly beings and then ungodly beings. So the sun has a godly being. And also the devil has also matched a being to be in charge mm. of that place. How? As a result of what man delivered mm -hmm. to him. Okay, 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 okay. So the moment man, by a falsified energy or dark energy, harnesses a place. He now assigns his spirit beings to go there so that man can have interaction because man is the act being of the universe. Wonderful. So, to talk about the other beings and to name them, when you see into that realm, we cannot even classify right. them and name them. That there is, if, I, if I begin to name them, Let's leave it as angels, messengers okay. of the heavens. Okay. But there are <laughs> elemental spirits that are in charge of the principles that lead that realm. Okay. The principles by which that realm was laid. Lead. And for instance, the elementals of the earth is the principles by which the earth was created mm -hmm. according to fire, mm -hmm. light, according to water and according to air and according to air. That's right. So man was taken from air. That, the elementals are the stoichion, the first principles okay. by which the foundations of a place were built. Okay. There are not only four elementals. Mm -hmm. There are elementals that man does not even know of. And in our periodic table, look at the elementals we are beginning to discover. Hmm. There are and elementals. There are behind all those beings, beings, water has its being, earth has its being, the sun has its being, everything that God created, and you, you have your being. Mm. There's a spirit being that's right. in charge of this, your body. That's right, that's true. There's a spirit being in charge of everything that we see in this world. That is called in science, intelligence. When you say intelligence, you are talking about the force that makes things to operate. Mm. And our Bible refers to it as a spirit. The life force, the intelligence. 
I'm not talking about the expression. I'm talking about the intelligence. intelligence. Okay. So you see, my spirit is an intelligence within me. So this body is being operated by the spirit, which is my spirit, and it's expressed through the soul. So Pastor Obed, always a blessing. Beloved of God, your Heavenly Father loves you and desires that you walk in the light and the knowledge of His Word. He also desires that you grow in the full stature of His Son Jesus Christ and walk in the victorious life. We would like to introduce to you Pastor Obed's latest book on conquering marine spirits. Pastor Obed in this unique book unveils to you hidden truths about water spirits and the element of water, the formation of bodies in water. You will also understand what it means to be under the bondage of spiritual marriages and how to handle them with the Word of God. Also contained in this explosive piece are 120 prayer bullets that aid the believer to pray impactfully against the oppression of marine spirits. To order for your copy of this book, call us on plus 233-322-041-035. You could also visit us at ChristCosmopolitan.org.